so when I first bought these clubs, these clubs were perfectly fitted for me. But as soon as I got older, stronger, better swing, different everything, just the, this is not like perfectly fitted for me because I'm changing, and I want to change some part, <clears throat> some parts of it so it can suit me. So your natural shot with that club is what, and what you're trying <clears throat> to change? My natural shot is draw, and I want it to be more of a cut shot because my driver it's inevitably going to be a draw, or ne and a draw or a hook. I want a club that I know I can trust that's gonna cut, so I'm gonna. I want this club. And so you're adding the weight because. I'm adding the weight because I want this. Um, if I put it right around here, the club should tend to cut. I just want this club to be perfectly for me. I just I don't care if it covers any logos. I just want this club to perform for me. put all I put the um, lead tape on the outside of the club right around here and I wanted this because I tend to like draw or even hook this club and most of my driver especially yep right here the sim 2 it tends to like draw hook and I want a club that can consistently hit a nice cut shot and this club I hope it can deliver that my hybrid um, I don't know if this is gonna help or not but I this is probably my least favorite club in the bag I've just I don't know. I've just never really liked it. It's just never been for me. But I'm hoping this can help it. I want to create, like, this club is just designed to go straight. I don't care if it goes. I want it to go, like, 210, 15, 20 yards. And just hit it down the middle. And I just wanted a club that can be very reliable. And I'm hoping this can increase the forgiveness on it by putting it in the middle. And then tell me you just changed the loft, too? Yes, I, I decreased the loft by uh, one point. So I don't know what that is. One point something degrees down. So I want to create more flat ball flight, more lower.